decided for this video to bring you up to one of my favourite locations, uh, the Cabezon del Oro mountain, which is uh, kind of there. Hopefully you can see some of that. No particular route planned, I'm just going to take a wander around some of the trails, see if anything grabs me, set up, take some pictures. The beauty of having the cloud there is we might get some opportunities that we wouldn't otherwise have. So. Uh, Time for me to get hiking and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Okay, so I've made a quick stop off. Um, just as I was coming along the trail, I noticed the clouds building up over part of the mountain. I decided to uh, just climb up a little hill. Uh, just climb up that hill, uh, get a good vantage point, and I'm trying to take a shot looking across that way towards the clouds over the mountain. So the composition I'm using at the moment is I'm using the, the trail um, as a, as a lead-in line which kind of takes me around a corner and unfortunately then disappears but then there's a, uh, a little sort of rocky outcrop with some trees on top and there's actually a little farmhouse on top of that and that's catching the light and then that goes on to a rocky ridge which is just starting to catch the light and then we've got the, the, the cloudy mountains behind that so it's, it's actually quite a pretty scene I'm, I'm actually quite liking this So we've had some really nice light on the mountains. Uh, the clouds are still rolling in across the top, looking quite dark and dramatic. Right now the challenge is there's some dark cloud. Um, and you can see it here. Uh, but there's some dark cloud over the top of the mountain. And then there's a bright band on the edge. There's sort of people walking past on the trail down below think I'm mad talking to myself. Yep, the scene just keeps on changing. Light keeps coming and going as the sun moves behind the clouds. Um, lots of cloud on top of the mountain there. In fact, the whole top of that uh, peak is almost completely gone. Again, just playing around with different compositions and uh, seeing what I can find. I've just actually reached a little hilltop which uh, I've been at before. I've actually taken some pictures of a, a big tree, or well, big for around here tree anyway, which I'll try and show you now. It's uh, that one there. It's quite nice. I think I'm going to take a short break here and uh, consider my options. Okay, so uh, I decided to have a go. Not entirely sure. I'm playing around with some compositions here. Um, really depends on what the clouds do 
and if we get any decent light. There's some really nice clouds rolling in over the top of the mountains, kind of uh, up there behind me. But the challenge is I just can't find a composition that really works for that. Clouds are rolling in quite nicely behind that area now, so hmm, I'll give it a go, see what we get. Okay, so I thought I'd try a couple of things. Uh, I tried a, a panoramic shot. Always important with a panorama, try to get that tripod as level as possible. So I spent a few minutes doing that. Uh, made sure I was in manual exposure because I, what I didn't want was any differences in exposure, which aperture priority would have uh, potentially caused. Um, and then basically took, uh, I actually lost count, eight or nine shots vertical shots uh, each one overlapping by about a third and then what I'll do is uh, in Lightroom I'll uh, take them and stitch them together and see how they come out. I I'm not entirely convinced but it's worth a try. Um, there's some really nice clouds up on the top of the mountain at the minute so uh, I'm going to try to uh, capture that in a second. The clouds are actually rolling in, just sort of drifting across the top of the mountain, a little bit ominous maybe. Some of the cloud is quite dark around here. Please don't rain. I've got no waterproof so I don't want to get soaking wet. One good thing, if I do get soaking wet, at least I won't be cold, because it's not cold here yet. I'm still in t-shirt and shorts, so... Okay, just while we're waiting to see if that sun does break through and put some light on the scene, uh, just to give you some idea what I'm shooting. Um, the scene, well, you can see the camera behind me. The scene is basically the, uh, the ridge, uh, the mountains behind with the cloud kind of coming over the top. So, there's... Uh, a couple of ridges coming down, then there's the actual mountain behind that and a cloud rolling in over the top, which is, uh, which is quite attractive. Um, some light on the scene would make it a lot better. Still waiting to see. Um, camera on the tripod, obviously. 18 to 105 lens on again, uh, shooting at 35mm. Um, f11 and at the moment 1 25th of a second if we get some more light on the scene that may change it's very quiet up here there's nobody else about at the minute makes me wonder if they know something i don't <laughs> Sometimes you spend a whole day up here and you don't see a soul. Other times there'll be loads of people hiking up here. But at the minute it's really quiet. another composition I've just spotted over that way so over there behind me with a row of trees on a hilltop and some clouds on the hills behind I'm gonna just have a little go at that just to see if it comes out again there's, there's not much light on that scene but it's worth a try okay that's not a bad image actually what I've done is I've composed the shot with uh, the hills in the background and a little row of trees in the foreground. And what I'm hoping, if I get it right, 
is that we'll just get a row of trees looking like they're right close to the camera and then the hills behind with the clouds coming over the top. I've just noticed I've got a low battery warning on the camera so I'm going to quickly change batteries because I'm not quite ready to give up for the evening. Okay that's it, battery change done. Always, always carry spare batteries. You can guarantee if your battery goes flat you will find the best shot, the best light, the best composition and you won't have enough battery power to get it. To be honest I don't think that's much of an issue today but nevertheless I'm not quite ready to give up just yet. Okay, the big thick bank of cloud over there is where the sun's heading towards. Not that I can actually see the sun because it's behind the clouds anyway. But I think we can be pretty certain that we're not going to get any more light today. Still I'm hopeful that I might have got a couple of decent shots. Even if I get one, I'm happy. And to be honest, even if I get none, I've had a lovely afternoon out. I've been wandering around up in the mountains. It's peace and quiet. I've seen about four other people in the whole time I've been up here, and they were at a distance. Just people hiking. I'm surrounded by some pretty beautiful landscape. Lovely rugged cliff faces. So even if I get no shots, it's a beautiful place to spend a few hours. Absolutely lovely. Okay, I gave up. To be honest, the light just wasn't happening. Even the clouds started to fill in too much. Lost all its texture, just became overcast. Hopefully, I'd already managed to get a couple of halfway decent shots. But even if I didn't, it's beautiful out here. Beautiful scenery, peace and quiet. Definitely worth coming out and about for a few hours. Until the next time, goodbye.